Welcome to the Battle Drill Devotional Podcast with Captain Rob Westwood Payne. Today is Friday, the 27th of October. This week on the Battle Drill Daily Devotional Podcast. We've been exploring how thin places help us connect with God's presence and his glory and help us to live a holy life. We turn to our passage for this week for the last time, Exodus chapter 33 and verses 12 to 23. Moses sees the Lord's glory. One day Moses said to the Lord, You have been telling me, Take these people up to the promised land, but you haven't told me whom you will send with me. You have told me, I know you by name and I look favourably on you. If it is true that you look favourably on me, let me know your ways so I may understand you more fully and continue to enjoy your favour. And remember, that this nation is your very own people. The Lord replied, I will personally go with you, Moses, and I will give you rest. Everything will be fine for you. Then Moses said, If you don't personally go with us, don't make us leave this place. How will anyone know that you look favourably on me, on me and on your people, if you don't go with us? For your presence among us sets your people and me apart from all other people on the earth. The Lord replied to Moses, I will indeed do what you have asked, for I look favourably on you, and I know you by name. Moses responded, Then show me your glorious presence. The Lord replied, I will make all my goodness pass before you, and I will call out my name, Yahweh, before you. For I will show mercy to anyone I choose, and I will show compassion to anyone I choose. But you may not look directly at my face, for no one may see me and live. The Lord continued, Look, stand near me on this rock. As my glorious presence passes by, I will hide you in the crevice of the rock and cover you with my hand until I have passed by. Then, I will remove my hand and let you see me from behind, but my face will not be seen. Amen. In the hustle and bustle of our daily lives, it's easy to miss the presence of God. The glory of God's presence can simply pass us by, But have you ever experienced a moment when God's glory seemed to shine through more vividly, like a sunbeam breaking through the clouds on a rainy day? In Exodus chapter 33, we find this remarkable account of Moses and his intimate encounter with God, showing us that thin places are where we can see the glory of God's presence most clearly. Moses had this deep longing to experience God's presence more fully. In verse 18, he cried out, Show me your glorious presence. Moses recognised the need for those thin places where the boundary between the physical and the divine becomes almost imperceptible. In response to Moses' plea, God revealed his glory and it was an awe-inspiring sight. Soon, Moses understood the glory of God's presence. In our own lives, thin places can be moments when we feel God's presence most intensely. These are times when our hearts are open and we are attuned to his voice. It might be in the quiet of early morning, the beauty of a sunset, the laughter of a child, or the warmth of a friend's embrace. These are moments when the ordinary becomes extraordinary and we sense God's presence. In those thin places, we can truly grasp God's glory and recognise his hand in our lives. 
They serve as reminders that God is always near, even when we may not feel it. They are opportunities for us to draw closer to him and to know him more deeply. Remember that God's presence is with you always, waiting for you to see his glory in the most unexpected places. Don't let the glory of God's presence pass you by. You may want to reflect on these questions to help you delve deeper today. When was the last time you experienced a thin place in your life? And how can you intentionally create space for such moments to draw nearer to God's glory? I hope to see you again soon for some more Battle Drill Daily Devotionals. But in the meantime, may God richly bless you. If you would like to subscribe to Captain Rob's Battle Drill Devotional, wherever you choose to listen to podcasts, or if you'd like to receive them direct to your inbox, head to www.equippinghispeople.com forward slash devotional and follow the instructions.